this video. This is the first video to the T's workbook hints. And this is the first video I've done in quite some time where I am coming over a bug. So sorry about the voice. Just uh, hang tight with me. I wanted to go ahead and get some of these videos out, especially since I've just released the T's math workbook. The stuff I'm going to be talking about here is going to help you with the standard and metric measurements. And the most current version of the workbook is version 1.1. And you can find a link for this workbook in the description of any of my videos. So units versus squared units versus cubic units. Let's just start with plain old units. And in this case, I'm going to be talking about inches and feet. 12 inches equals one foot. You definitely want to know that. But if we start talking about square feet or cubic feet even, for example, let's look at uh, this square down here. And let's suppose this square is one foot by one foot. Well, the area of that square is going to be one foot times one foot. That is one square foot. And another way that we can write this is we can write it as one foot squared. Now, if we want to talk about this square, what's the area of this square in square inches? Well, what you're going to have to think about visually, and I'm going to show this to you, is we got to break this foot up into inches. So I know this looks like a hot mess, but what you got to think about is this. Okay, remember, one foot is 12 inches. So I'm taking this foot, and let's just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 inches across there. Well, there's 12 inches going down as well. So therefore, since one foot is 12 inches and one foot is 12 inches, be my guest if you want to come in here and count how many square inches you have. I know it's not perfect, but I'm trying to get the point across here. If you take 12 inches times 12 inches, then this one square foot that we have, one square foot, one square foot, that's going to be 144 square inches. And that's where some people get confused. They think, okay, if 12 inches is a foot, then a square foot is just going to be 12 square inches, and that's not right. You have to remember, you're taking length times width. One foot times one foot, that's one square foot. That's the same thing as saying 12 inches times 12 inches, that's 144 of those square inches. And if you were to pause the video and count all of these, what are supposed to be squares, I know my drawing's not perfect, you would have 144 square inches inside of this square foot. So that's the conversion there to convert from square inches to square feet. Now imagine taking that same concept. If we took one foot, we have a cube now. So we're talking about cubic units. That's volume. If we have one foot this way, one foot across the side, and the height of the cube is one foot. The volume of a cube, the volume is going to be length. So that's one foot times the width, which is one foot times the height, which is one foot and one foot times one foot times one foot is one cubic foot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write that over here. One cubic foot. Now, if we wanted to figure out how many cubic inches there would be inside of this cube, there's going to be a lot of them. I mean, y'all, imagine taking one foot by one foot by one foot. You have a box. And, you know, a basketball would kind of fit inside of that box pretty good if you wanted to wrap it up for a Christmas present. Well, imagine taking a cubic inch, which is only a little bit bigger than a dice that you roll at Vegas. Imagine filling up that box with those dice. You'd have a bunch of them because a dice is kind of close to a cubic inch. But now let's use our conversions. One foot, 12 inches, times another foot. Well, that's another 12 inches, times another foot. Oh my, we have another 12 inches. And 12 times 12 times 12 is 1,728, and this is cubic inches. That is going to be our conversion. Now, you don't want to memorize these by any means. Here's the shortcut. If you want to go from standard units, like inches or feet, to square units, all you do is square the conversion. 12 inches times 12 inches is 144 square inches. Just like one foot times one foot is one square foot. Now let's look at the cubic conversion. One foot times one foot times one foot. That is one foot, all of that cubed, that's a cubic foot. That is this blue cube we have over here. So essentially we're taking this 12 inches and we're cubing it. 
12 times 12 times 12 is 1,728, and we do have cubic inches. So hopefully with those tips there, it will help you get through some of the questions in the standard and metric measurement section of the T's Math Workbook. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below for some more hints on other sections of the workbook, and I'll be happy to post those. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.